Hi everyone, my name is Lacey and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to show a flip through of two of my bullet journals. So if you've seen some of my videos, you've probably seen some of the pages and you've seen these bullet journals before. This one is my personal bullet journal. I did start out creating this bullet journal on my channel. I quickly realized that I was creating what I thought the viewers would want to see rather than creating what I actually needed. And if you've been bullet journaling for a while, you will know that bullet journaling can be really personal and you can tailor it to your needs. So not every person has the same layouts and the same pages because some people need trackers and some people don't. Some people need calendars and some people don't. So I stopped creating this one on my channel. I created a different one on my channel just for the creative outlet. And then I was using this one for what I needed it for like things for work, my bills, things like that. And so I have paper clipped some of the pages together. Let's see. I won't be showing every single page. If there's part of the layouts that I skip, you could possibly see those in some of my other videos. So I will put a playlist in the iCards above of all my bullet journal videos. So let's get started. This sticker is from my friend. She created it. So I put it on the front. I actually did want to put a sticker on the front, but I hadn't found one I liked enough. So when I, I saw this one, I was super excited. I will put her Instagram below. So here's my cover page. What feels like the end is often the beginning. And if it's lost, call this number. Adventure awaits. Let's get right into it. I did a key and a color code. I quickly realized I didn't actually ever use the key or the color code. I think I started, but I quickly like abandoned. <laughs> so that's just something that didn't really work out for me. Here's like a little about me. Kind of crazy. I was 28 when I started this and I am now 30. So <laughs> that's fine. It's just interesting to see the kind of things that I wrote about. Creativity is experimenting, growing, taking risks, breaking rules, making mistakes, and having fun. My index, which is fairly long. My birthdays. Grid spacing guide, places to go, and actually... We're going to the Sugar Shack <laughs> on the 9th, so that's fun. I'll get to do something that I actually had hoped to do. COVID happened, so I haven't really gotten to do really any of these. So There's a yearly calendar. I actually didn't ever use it at all. <laughs> the goals and YouTube ideas. I actually did use these a lot, and I actually created some more farther in the bullet journal so it's kind of something that I would continue to do. I actually really enjoyed having spaces for lists which is like a lot of this bullet journal though unfortunately I had to cover a lot of them because it was lists that are personal like I said for work and stuff so I couldn't really share that. Delicious autumn. My very soul is wedded to it and if I were a bird I would fly about the earth, seeking the successive autumns. September. So we have September at a glance, and I actually use these calendars a lot. So there's a lot of them. <laughs> Sometimes that would be the only thing I would put in for the entire month. So here's a habit tracker and a mood tracker. They were actually really stressful because I kept forgetting to do them and then I couldn't remember what I did and I actually came back to at least habit trackers and I kind of just took the stress away from myself saying like okay if you forget to write it it's okay there's no problem <laughs> so uh, skipping some pages here magic it's really very simple all you've got to do is want something and then let yourself have it. October. October at a glance. 
looking back at this, I really liked my creativity. I like these little kind of stickers that I created. <laughs> I just really thought they were really cute. And then there's my habit in mood tracker. Let's get some pages. And yeah, a true artist is not one who is inspired, but one who inspires others. And this was actually the artist that made this sticker. So you could check her out on Instagram. I think she also has a second Instagram, so I'll put that one as well. Here's kind of my moon tracker and November. And I did this in watercolor. I really like it. There's a little cafe paperclip. Cute. Got that from Sticky and a lot of these stickers as well. Okay. These weekly boxes. And I actually would come back to these as well. And like I said, just trying to take off the pressure if I forget to fill them in. Christmas planning <laughs> and more YouTube ideas. Here's December. And these were some Christmas lists. I just don't want to show you them. So believe in the magic of Christmas. I really enjoy these spreads, looking back at them. It's been a while. Hard to believe it's already been two years, though. I did a lot of, like, quotes on the days I forgot to fill in, which helped. Here's a Christmas movie list. I was trying to get through them all. More Christmas movies. I really like watching Christmas movies. <laughs> I really like drawing on pages that I don't have anything else to do. And I would like to take this sometimes with me. Where, like when I visit my in-laws and stuff when I didn't have anything to do. I would just draw in it. And it was a lot more portable than my sketchbook because my sketchbook is an eight and a half by 11 and it was really big so it was very useful for that as well january here's more youtube ideas paper squishy ideas things like that more, same thing so this was some art by my friend doodle monster for life and you've seen both of the artists well you've heard their voices on the trying digital art videos i think i can maybe put that in the icards above as well if you want to check it out and also she has an instagram i'll put it in the description as well so good february and i love coffee theme i don't know i might have even done it in the other bullet journal if not i would love to do more coffee themes they're just they're just nice i just love them <laughs> So, good. So, these are just some kind of lists that I had created. Let's see. I did one for Animal Crossing. I was trying to do, like, my favorite villagers, but it kept changing all the time. And then some stuff about my Zodiac. And I'm not, like, huge into Zodiac, but I just like learning about it. This was about my uh, sun sign and my rising sign, I think. Or... Er Oh, this is my moon sign? I don't know. I can't remember, but yeah, it was fun just to learn about that. And so, a playlist. Book list. Though I don't know if I actually read any of these. I started Sweet Magnolias. I started this one. And that one. And maybe that one. I started like a whole bunch of them, but I never finished. I think I have some to add to this list, to be honest. March, so we had a plant theme, and I love plant themes. I'd come back to that as well, do another one. We're skipping a whole bunch of pages, but this is just a a doodle page, and I actually did a video on this as well. I don't know if I can put all these in the iCards, but if I can, I will. If not, maybe I can put it in the description. So I had to cover this page, but I did want to show something, so maybe I can like 
if I can just block this out. <laughs> I did like this little list page and I thought it was a lot of fun. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to smack the camera, but this is actually like a little shaker that somebody gave me and I just thought that was so fun. So I really enjoyed that. Okay, skipping some pages. June. <laughs> I also in this one I would use a lot of my like sticky stickers subscription. You could see like right here, like uh. <laughs> so I really enjoyed that because I felt like it was something I could use my stickers on and it didn't take me as much time as like drawing out all the spreads like I did for my YouTube channel. So that's what this one was all about in the end. This is some doodles I did. I think I showed this on my YouTube channel. Actually, no. I think I... Maybe. I'm not sure. I think I did a whole spread by Chelsea DIY in my other bullet journal. I think that's what it was. But I really love her style, so I really enjoyed making this. And she's a YouTuber on YouTube. <laughs> so I will try to put her in the description down below as well. So yeah, she was definitely an inspiration. I bought this these washi tapes from her and these stickers and I just I love it so much I actually am waiting for some stickers that I ordered from her shop Independence Day Canada Day Quebec National Holiday I did all of these on a video as well these are all from Chelsea DIY got these stickers and washi from her this as well and this yeah <laughs> Oh, okay, so I did show the spread, I'm pretty sure, on my bullet, I mean, on my YouTube channel. This is, like, um, an art that I got from her. And this is some tissue paper that she, like, wrapped her, her thing in, so it was really nice. And that's another note, or another, it was a note card, but it, it's art on the back and stickers from her. I created these. This was kind of my first digital art. And we're into August, so I think this was like a stationary theme. Skipping some pages. September, it was kind of like this like ocean type theme. Uh, I guess space, oceany space. <laughs> so notes, I made this so I could fill it out. I use these kind of pages all the time. So these are kind of some examples of what the pages I've skipped have looked like before I wrote on them. So I do plan on still writing on this. And I started trying to record some of the fonts that I was using so I could use it as a reference. I do plan on finishing this as well. You can see I drew some out that I haven't finished. October, mushroom theme, skip some pages. <laughs> November, another like coffee theme, skip some pages. I started NaNoWriMo, which is National Writing Month, and you can see this is like 2,500 words, and every time I'd color in one of these beans, it'd be 2,500 words. Not these, but like these down here. I actually didn't get to finish because I had to go to the U.S. on last minute notice. <laughs> so I am going to try again next year. Christmas lists. These are some gifts I got from people. December. I think it's also nice to be able to look back and be like, oh yeah, I did get that person that gift last year. And oh yeah, I did get, I did receive this gift last year. So it's kind of fun to look back on. We're going from December right into January. This is like a reference for like headers and titles. I actually have a class on this on out school. If you want to take a bullet journal class, because I do bullet journal classes on out school, but I also did this like one time class on how to make headers and titles. So if you want to take any of those type of classes, I'll put that in the description below as well. We're going into February. And actually, I was like starting to create a spread that I was going to use in my class, in my bullet journal class. And I forgot I was going to do March. And I like, I was stuck because we were like in the month of February. I started creating this one. Candy is childhood, the best and bright moments you wish could have lasted forever. And so then it went like straight from like February to March, so it's kind of funny. But ideas are like bunnies. You get a couple, 
and learn how to handle them and pretty soon you have a dozen. So I created this with one of my students and I really love it. <laughs> she was doing like a rainbow unicorn theme and I was doing a rabbit theme so together <laughs> we made this and I actually used like Mod Podge Sparkle to make it very like sparkly. Always be a unicorn. So yeah, we created this. She created hers and I created mine and we hung out and it was a lot of fun. Oh, I've skipped a page. So I did like flowers and rabbits. Highly recommend. <laughs> yeah, so page for notes. I'm still going to fill that out. So here we are, April. This is for next month. I went ahead and did it so I could finish this bullet journal. Where there are bees, there are flowers. And where there are flowers, there is life and hope. So I, I used like these sticky stickers, which were like honey and cows together. I really, really loved it. So I drew my own little cow, my own little bee. And yeah, I just used their stickers. It was a lot of fun. I always wanted to do a bee theme, so I wouldn't mind doing another one, to be honest. So we have a little flower with a little bee. Good. There's a little honey cow. I just love it. Little cow drinking a little boba. May. So I did another sticky theme where I'm going to skip ahead a little. They did what was called fruity cuties and it was like little animals dressed up as fruit. And so I tried to do that. I did a little like bird banana, a little orange frog to improve your zest for life. Fill it with vitamin C's. Courage, cheerfulness, confidence, and creativity. May. And, yeah, I had a lot of fun. I used all, like, these, like, fruit type of washi tapes and used my sticky stickers. And I started creating my own, so I did, like, some kawaii type of fruits. Here's a blueberry and a pineapple. And then I made my own cutie fruity though I'm not sure if a pumpkin is a fruit or a vegetable but I just thought that was cute it's like a little pumpkin bunny this is supposed to be an eggplant dino and I know he looks really derpy but I really love that about him and I also know that an eggplant is a vegetable I think but I just thought that was so cute so yep I had some ink go through the page so <laughs> if you see this little square that's why I just covered it this is a little pear cat, strawberry, of course, cauliflower sheep, peach, little dragon fruit hedgehog, and a cherry. So it was uh, so much fun. And this page, I plan on putting like stickers on there. All right, so let's go to the other bullet journal. Also, look how thick that is. Like, that is so thick. It barely, like, stays together. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so here is my other bullet journal. I was super surprised to realize that I only put out videos up to April when I'm pretty sure I recorded at least through November. But I do realize that life got a bit difficult <laughs> towards the end of the year last year. So a lot of this will be new for you. So it'll be exciting to show you. So here we go. And so the adventure begins. This bullet journal belongs to a lost call. So I think in this bullet journal, I tried to use circles a lot for the cover pages. And I actually had the idea that I was going to give this away. But then once I created the whole thing, I really want to keep it. So I'm not sure yet. I'm leaning towards keeping it. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but I hope that I will at some point, maybe next year. So here's the key and color code. So I kept a lot of things blank, and so if I did give it away, whoever was using it could fill it in. The about me, and I put like this wax seal that someone gave me on one of my pen pal letters. Everything you can imagine is real. And... The index is very short compared to my other because I didn't have like so many different things like 
I just mainly had like the spread, so you can see September spread, October spread, November spread. So they last a longer, but they, I have a shorter index. Birthdays, really liked having the birthday section. Spacing guide and the places to go. Year at a glance. Goals. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. So this one I kind of wanted to do like light in the darkness because I always find, you know, January to be so dark and just trying to find things that make you happy during the winter. So did like these blue colors with like gold. You can see all the, the sparkly. So I used a lot of these like winter animals, blue and yellow at the bottom. blue and yellow snowflakes and there was like some gold sparkly owls at the bottom with scarves polar bears at the bottom <laughs> and then like knitting which reminds me of like the coziness that you could find during the winter I really liked uh, this I had these for like so long and this was actually in the first sticky pack I ever got. A pin pal sent me. That's how I started getting sticky in the first place. And it's very shiny. It was nice to finally be able to use it on something. Good. Soup. <laughs> Just think about things that people do during the winter. It's cozy. So I did this as like a mood tracker and or habit tracker and it was something I added later on it wasn't in my original and I also added this as well I was keeping blank spaces in case if I gave it away someone had some space to add stuff but then when I decided to just keep it I wanted to fill it in so this is kind of a place to write down like what books you're reading or what books you want to read and also I started like this is my February spread I made a video of this as well and I had this little paper clip with a little dinosaur that I made, but it kept falling off, so I used another paper clip to secure it, which is kind of funny. We are using the same water that the dinosaurs drank, and this same water has to make ice creams in Pasadena and the morning frost in Paris. So this is my dinosaur and dessert theme. And this would lead me to create some digital art of dinosaurs and desserts. I really like creating stuff like that where it's those milkshakes that are piled with like treats. <laughs> so this is some art from my friend Doodle Monster for Life. Some space for notes. I added this later on. This is my Animal Crossing theme. There's a video on this as well. <laughs> it's interesting to see like how much my art has changed. Like I feel like my art does not look like that. So it's really interesting to me. You can definitely see my improvement. I really like how I used like this parchment paper I also like how I added like these little tiny accents thought that was really cute I'd like to do that again these I added later on I also like I had a sticker of those flowers that you get whenever you have a five star island and Tulips are my, the flower I had when I started Animal Crossing. So I added Lily and then I just added like a mood tracker of flowers and this little playlist. Added those later on. 
Happy Easter. Let's see. I'm interested that like I didn't I didn't add a quote. I usually add a quote. So it's interesting to me. I didn't even realize at the time, I think. I did a lot of drawing for this one. Added these later on. Okay, so May is the first one I guess I didn't show anybody, which I'm I'm just so surprised. Because I started doing a thing where I ask my friends what theme I should choose. So my friend decided, Doodle Monster for Life, she decided that I should do holidays of May. And not just holidays, but like the holidays you don't hear about, like Star Wars Day. This was Chocolate Chip Day. I think this was like Hoagie Day or Sub Day or, or I don't know, something like that. And then we have the month at a glance and then each week was a certain holiday so this was Cinco de Mayo which actually my husband's born on Cinco de Mayo Mother's Day Teacher Appreciation Day Memorial Day and then just some notes and <laughs> this is a mood tracker and I wanted to cover this page so I found like these like rainbow stars and then I just put them all over the page and it has no purpose except for it was just fun to do and fun to look at so I don't know if I'll ever do it again but it was fun also my little brother gave me these stickers when for one of my birthdays when I was younger so it was nice to use them for something so my friend HBOMB92 that we already talked about. She chose space, so I did this. And I actually painted this in watercolor and this in watercolor and created all these. And these are stickers, th these three, but the background I did. So I was really proud of that. And added some little like space memo pads and a little space paper clip. So you kind of have these different like space themed memo pad papers which I thought was fun to like be able to have like some places I can do some notes in the future so I created these but this is a sticker and I created that and those are stickers and I actually I think I ordered some more space stuff so I'd love to do it on the space theme at some point There's some like <laughs> space washi tape that's very shiny. I added this later on. And then now we're to the Chelsea DIY. See, I thought I did another Chelsea DIY theme. See, I think I did this one first and then I added the other one when I had some extra stuff to get rid of. So she gives like your note cards, but they're like an art print on the back and I just love that. I think I even have another one <laughs> to use. So you might see more of her stuff. Her art is just so cute. It's like really hashtag goals. So like this is a sticker I got from her. Washi tape I've gotten from her. And she really loves Simiko Garashi. So I actually had some notepads that my pen pal gave me. So I tried to add those and have like these little sections where we can write on the notepad. So she's really into desserts, so I kind of did this like dessert theme. Added some little like cotton candy and stuff, just thought that was fun. And again with the desserts. And I really like being able to add these like notepad pages because I feel like I have a lot of them and I never know what to do with them. So it was really fun just making all this bright and colorful and nice. And again, I made these like little notepads. I don't know what's in this. Probably stickers. <laughs> and there's some more Sumiko Garashi. I think all of these little notepads are Sumiko Garashi. Oh, and also she had like these little like kind of lunch stickers. 
So I did this like lunch ticket and bought a ticket and I just thought it was really fun. Like look at that little lunch washi. It's cute. I really like it and I, I feel like this sticker and this sticker is definitely kind of her style. Like look at that. It matches perfectly. Good. And she had these little pig stickers. I just love them. And this says, whoops, I may not be perfect, but I'm still cute. And hashtag same. <laughs> and it says thanks. And yeah, I just love that. So for August, I asked my mom if she would choose since August. She was born in August. And my mom's grandfather, his name was Augustus. So she chose to do like an ancient Greek theme. And yeah, so I put, I found Rome, a city of bricks, and left it a city of marble. Also, you can see my gold kind of smeared a bit, but I really liked this. I thought it was something I wouldn't have chose for myself. So it was really a challenge, but it was fun. So I got like this marble washi tape and then bought these little stickers to kind of use in my theme. I made these, which I thought were really cute. Again, with the washi tape. And then I made these as well, but I think I used reference for some of this because I, I didn't know what to do, so. But yeah, I just drew them out, cut them out. But these are stickers that I got from Etsy. I could try to put it in the description below if I remember. If I don't remember, then just remind me if you want to see it. And that came with the stickers. It was like a freebie. So I just added it in there as well. Did my tracker. And it was really challenging to do so many pots. But it was fun. September, I did my neighbor Totoro. And this is like a bookmark I got. I actually have a whole box of little Totoro bookmarks. Good. Don't forget to be awesome. And I use these little memo pads again. Totoro washi tape. I was super excited to use that. And the little notepad. These are so fun. Okay, so I made this. It's an artist trading card. And I decided to put one in here. I made a whole set of them. I don't know. I think I still have some. And I wanted to add like a whole bunch of these like mushroom kind of stuff. This says, Magnificent Tree. It's been around since long ago. Back in the time when people and trees used to be friends. And I want to say that's a quote from Totoro or from Studio Ghibli, but I'm not sure anymore because it's been a long time everybody try laughing then whatever scares you will go away and I'm pretty sure that's a Totoro reference as well so this was really fun to just draw and make up <laughs> and again with the mushrooms that's Chelsea DIY sticker if you couldn't tell and I thought it was perfect here <laughs> so there's some more my neighbor Totoro washi and I added the mushroom washi and a tracker of mushrooms. October. I'm pretty sure the secret to world peace is hidden somewhere in the smell of coffee and baked sweets. And Sticky gave me like, it was like bakery witches. <laughs> it was like a witches theme, but there was also like bakery. So I added that and I added some Chelsea DIY washi tape since it kind of fit perfectly in the theme. And this was really fun. I would definitely do it again. Mixes some of my favorite things, witches and bakery and coffee. <laughs> and I just think the brown is like so nice and cozy. We're almost, we're almost done. There's some witches. It was really fun. This was like another month of sticky. But it was really fun as well. Then I did like tea bags for the color scheme. And I have no idea what I was doing here. Like why? 
<laughs> I really don't know what that's for. I guess I started something and never finished it. Well, anyway, I guess I gotta do something with that. <laughs> so November, I'm gonna skip ahead just a little. Sticky gave us like this theme. It was like cozy fall or something. And this right here, this little owl, he looks like the guy from Over the Garden Wall. And I didn't even know what that was until I met my husband and he loves that as a Halloween movie. I guess that's a Canadian thing I didn't know about. So I did this theme for him, inspired by him. How the gentle wind beckons through the leaves as autumn colors fall, dancing in a swirl of golden memories. And that was like from the a song that's in over the garden wall so it's nice to see and I actually drew that and it was a lot of fun that not the leaf stickers but this here this is actually one of my favorite I would say though I don't know there were so many good ones like the space one and the co I like coziness <laughs> cozy fall days so it was really fun Uh, <laughs> I'm just realizing there's like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but what are these blank boxes for? Literally don't know. Like, I don't know what I was doing at the time. Maybe I was just leaving it open for something. If I would have thought about it, I could have done like one week and then two weeks and saved paper, but don't know what I was planning there. Winter is a time for comfort, for good food and warmth, for the touch of a friendly hand, and for a talk beside the fire. It is the time for home. And actually, I was home, uh, USA home at this time, and I did a little penguin theme. And I think I just really wanted like a homage to the fact that I was with my family, and it was nice. <laughs> so I did like this kind of sparkly, like, wintry snow feel and did a lot of penguins penguin penguin stamp <laughs> a lot of penguins and i finally got like a calendar stamp so i really like that i like to use it okay there's a note page as usual and just like we saw in the other one i did this like reference for headers and titles here we are in january we're almost done in the depth of winter i finally learned that there was in me an invincible summer and this is actually lace washi first time using that it was really fun this is a polar bear theme and i drew that polar bear and then I had a lot of polar bear washi, or not washi, this is a washi, but this is uh, their stickers. So it was fun using that and using like these like pink and purple pastel colors. I feel like you don't think of that when you think of winter, but it was so much fun. I also like used a silver, so I was trying to show that it's like shimmery. And I used this like shimmery washi too, so it was really a lot of fun. And like hints of gold there's like the gold ink and then these are actually like gold shiny stickers so a lot of fun I like having like the goals and like things to buy and stuff like that on this side this was a lot of fun it was February more than kisses letters mingle souls and because I like to do pen pal letters this meant a lot to me and I really picked colors, I don't know, I guess I didn't really mean to pick these colors. <laughs> I think the green is a lot, but I used the green on the leaves, so I think that's why I added it. And I actually ended up really liking it, because I feel like it was colors I wouldn't have picked necessarily, you know, by myself. So, it was a lot of fun. And I got to use some, like, Valentine's Day washi that I hadn't been able to use before. Whoop. pages are kind of sticking together I think because I did these recently that I hadn't like flipped through it so much and now it's like kind of hard to get them apart 
I did a playlist, and I think I got this theme from Pinterest, like, not the color scheme and stuff, but just, like, some of the theme ideas, so if I find it, I'll link it. I think I couldn't, I was going to write it in here, but I couldn't find the original artist. I will try, though. Favorites, so you can, like, put them on the little papers with the envelopes, and the moods, so you can color in the hearts. Don't be a fish, be a frog. Swim in the water and jump when you hit the ground. So I wanted to do something really cute, and I chose frogs with strawberries. I don't even know how. <laughs> I just thought that was cute. I just tried to think of some stuff that I liked, and I think the pink and the green, well, it's technically kind of a maroon color, or the fuchsia color or something, but I thought it was really cute. And I also had these little frog stickers with, like, cherry blossoms. Could have been the... The thought behind it, I'm not really that sure. I did them all the same as you can see, and then yeah, I added some like little strawberry washi. It was a lot of fun. You could see that I would think I was covering something up there. <laughs> Good, and then <laughs> I made a mistake and I accidentally colored in the tracker lily pads so I don't know where it is but I have a little envelope that I'm gonna attach in here and it has stickers of frogs and you can put um there's different colors there's like white yellow pink and blue and depending on the color it could be the mood and then you can do it that way and actually that's really fun because you never really think about putting stickers for the mood I think so it's, I think it's fun then I added these note pages and I got to use some more stickers that I hadn't gotten to use before so it was a lot of fun. And then I was just doing like a sticker collage on the back which is what I said I was going to do with the other one as well. And I think that's a good idea because I always need somewhere to put more stickers so that's the end of both of my collections. <laughs> and I, will, I hope it doesn't take too long. It's been about a little less than an hour to show both of them. I hope to really be able to speed it up. But thank you if you made it this far. If you did, let's put an emoji of... I'm going to say a frog in the comments. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite theme. And what theme would you like to see me do or do over. I'm super excited to hear from all of you and I hope that you enjoyed this flip through and if you enjoy my bullet journal videos let me know and I would love to do some more. I actually have two more bullet journals that I plan on drawing in and, and showing all of you and I'm super excited for that so if you guys are excited for that as well just let me know. I feel like at this point in my YouTube journey it's just trying to figure out what everybody wants to see. and. I'm working on a lot of things in the background as well, and I look forward to hearing from you. Hope everyone's having a good week, and I will see you guys next time. So, bye!